Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another online home decor shop with me. Today we're shopping on H&M Home and Zara Home, which are two of my favorite online home decor stores. They do have some brick and mortars, but I think they're East Coast and definitely over in Europe. If you haven't given them a chance, if you haven't purchased anything from Zara Home or H&M Home, you got to try them. They have such good stuff. The quality for the price I feel like is unmatched to any other more affordable home decor sites is so good. So good. The attention to quality and detail is just, like I said, unmatched. My favorite items that I purchased from H&M Home have been their table linens and napkins and a couple of my baskets. They do such a good job at making these so affordable, but look like they are way more expensive. I mean, they just do such a good job, such beautiful pieces. Same with Zara. I would say Zara can tend to be a little bit more sometimes on some items, but wow, absolutely stunning. I think Zara is so good at making items look like they have that old world feel, the distressing. A lot of the times I'm not very attracted to things that are made to look old, but Zara just for some reason they do a good job at it. They are really, really good. Anyway, I found some really amazing items and I cannot wait to dive in and share those with you. So we should just get started because now I'm just going to talk and talk about how great these sites are, which they are amazing. But let me show you because I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with some of the items that I found. We're gonna start with H&M Home. I found so many great things. I have noticed H&M Home will hold on to their things for a little while, which is great because I feel like sometimes when you place an order and you wanna be able to place another order, it's very frustrating if things turn over rather quickly or are sold out. Typically, I always say buy more, return, but I need to take some of my own advice because sometimes I don't buy stuff and then I regret it. However, they have such, such good things. So to start, I shared the set of three little uh, silver spoons in a collage. I love these. Now, a lot of the flatware that I have, especially, uh, not flatware, excuse me, like silverware or like little spoons and things. I have a lot in gold, but I don't have a ton in silver. And I've kind of been into silver lately, especially if it's silver. Now these I think are probably just like stainless or you know, not actual silver. But when you're out vintage shopping, if you can buy silver, you have to polish, which is a little obnoxious, but Oh my gosh, the patina. It just has this different look about it, but I've been trying to introduce some more silver into my space and oh, it's so beautiful. Also, I have purchased these wire baskets from H&M Home and they had quite a few other ones that I purchased as well. They're no longer available, but these ones still are available. These are so beautiful in a pantry. I did use these, a couple of these in the pantry makeover I did. I love a wire basket for pantry items because you can see inside of it, but it still corrals it and still makes it look chic somehow. They, like I said, still have these in large available. And I mentioned in another online shop with me from Connected Goods that they had some of my favorite baskets, which, which they do. I still stand by that, but you can't beat the price on this H&M one. It is just so beautiful. Also, this other storage basket is in that like wicker material. This is, the reason why I wanted to talk about this one is because it's very see-through. I love these for like a pantry or items that you need to see what's inside of it because like with a pantry, I don't like to have it so opaque that you can't see. I feel like you need to see your items, especially like food items. So baskets like these that are very, uh, you can see inside of them are really, really great for that. A couple other silver items that I found from H&M Home. One is this cake server. I just liked how contemporary this looked and it just, I don't know, I just really liked how simple and beautiful it was. I always say, if you're gonna get one of these, get two of them because when, or three or whatever, think about your holidays and the amount of like pies and things that you're gonna have so you can have one for each. So typically if you do like say, two to three pies, have three of these, or say you get five, you know? I always try to think forward because things like this, I, I would typically just get one, but I have found, and I'm a big, like I love to mix and match. However, sometimes you need a little backup is basically what I'm saying. So if you're someone who entertains a lot and, or, you know, bakes a lot of pies for holidays, things like that, get a couple of these, but they are a really good price too. Also this metal cake stand in this silver tone, 
again, I love this contemporary look. I just think that it really helps elevate a space, especially if you're like me and you have a lot of vintage. It really helps balance and kind of calm things down, even though you're putting such a different piece in the space. So I just, sometimes I really like that look and I think it's very helpful. Say if you put it on like an old uh, table like I have here, putting something modern and new, mm, so good. I also really like this metal toast rack. This would be so cute to make yourself or you and a spouse, you and your family like a little brunch and putting your toast in here. I think that's so cute. For me, I kind of have always been like this, but I really want to create experiences, even just a, around the like regular daily things or maybe you make a brunch, but how can you maybe make it more of an experience? E even if it's just for yourself, I think that romanticizing life a little bit can be a little fun and a little forgotten at times. Next, I wanna mention this tablecloth. I have this, I love this, I have used it so many times. It is this window pane tablecloth. It's in this linen with this black window pane pattern. So good, I love this, especially coming into that spring summertime. Absolutely gorgeous. A couple of items from H&M Home that I thought were just fun, again, creating that dining experience, again, even if it's just for yourself, is this little butter marble butter bowl, comes with a little butter knife and it sits across the top. It's absolutely adorable. And then I also saw that they have, let me scroll down a little bit. Oh yes, okay, so this marble salt and pepper little bowl set comes with the little spoons. It comes with a little tray. You could take that tray out if you wanted to. You could keep it together. You could even keep this right next to your uh, range if you wanted to have use them as a salt cellar. I just thought that this was really, really cute and it matched the little marble butter bowl. Cute. Also, another like little serving piece, but also could be really cute for like a bar space. I was over at my aunt's house and she was telling me back when she would, you know, go out to dinner with friends and stuff, said that they would have friends come over for cocktail hour and then they would go out to dinner and I thought, Wow, that is just such a cute idea. I love that. When I saw this three part metal bowl set, I thought that would be the perfect thing to put out. And here they have some olives, some nuts, you know, just a couple little things to nibble on while you have your cocktail. And say you did do a little cocktail hour with your friends before dinner, I think that this is just such a cute little way, again, to just create that experience. And you can keep it quite, quite small. I just, I thought that was really cute. Also from H&M, I have to mention these baskets again. I have them sitting right here. You can't see them on screen, but these baskets are so good. I wonder if I should grab one. Let me grab one so I can show you. This is the basket from H&M Home. It's not like super structured, but it does hold its shape. And this is full of just a bunch of office stuff. <laughs> but I love that it has this like little rope latch and it's in this seagrass. I love seagrass. I think seagrass is kind of like a more put together slash casual vibe. It gives both for me. I feel like you can dress it up, you could dress it down. These are from H&M and they were rather affordable. I wanted to mention them again, but I did notice that they have, hold on, let me put this down. But I did notice that they have these other storage baskets that are in the same material and again, such a good price, $16.99 for a large storage basket. We're talking home goods prices. Very, very good for this basket and it's seagrass. And let me tell you, at Home Goods, I don't see a whole lot of seagrass. So I was very, very impressed with these baskets. I love my ones with the little rope latch. And in the kids section, they have one that says toys across the, it just looks kind of old world and cute to me. I love, I love that. I also really love this patterned cushion cover. I've shared this before, I think last year. I just love this. I think that's really pretty, could be really pretty for outside. I, I love, love that it's affordable and it gives kind of that, it just has a very elegant, it looks like a very high end fabric to me, so. I'm really, really loving that. I also have this vase. Okay, so this is a tall, clear bud vase. I have the little dish that's no longer available, but the vase is still available. Again, for dining, by your kitchen sink, bathroom, putting a couple of florals, maybe you clipped them out of your own yard. Such a good piece to have on hand for times. If you have kids and they bring you little flowers, really nice to have these little vases just to pop 
your florals in. So just a couple little clippings. I think that that's really pretty. When I shared these mango wood cutting boards last year, they were a super popular item. They are back. So I noticed they have definitely the large one in stock. If they have the medium size or one a little bit smaller than this, I'll link that one down below as well. So good. I do want to get this washed linen nightshirt, not only for a nightshirt, but I think that this would be a really good uh, swimsuit cover up. I love linen. I love linen. I, I love linen. <laughs> so I like that this was a bit more oversized being that it's like an oversized nightshirt. Sometimes with swim covers, it's like they're not big enough. I like it to be almost like a dress and like flowing in the wind, not so like fitted. I'm gonna get this for a swim cover. I'm gonna get it in the linen, the white and the black. I want it in all of them. I have not tried H&M Holmes bedding yet. However, I'm super interested in this bedding here. I like that it has one of you already told me what this is called and I've already forgotten, but the border around the pillow, not like a border detail. It could be the flange or the flange. I can, I can never remember what that word is. Anyway, I like these. I like that they have a little bit more of a dressed up look to them. I kind of go back and forth between very earthy, very organic, casual to dressy. I like the juxtaposition of both of them in my home and sometimes I'll go super, I want everything to feel or organic and inviting. And then other times it's like I almost overdid that. So then I want everything to feel a little bit more polished. I'm trying to find the balance, but I thought that these looked very elegant, very, very beautiful. And then I found this linen blend bedspread that you could, this is ca more casual. So you could put this right on top of that more tailored look. And I just felt like this would be a nice piece to have at the end of my bed, just draping, you know, kind of as a throw, folded up really nicely, beautiful. They're linen covers. I have them on my couch right now, let me show you. <laughs> These are H&M's linen covers. I will say, I do prefer my thicker ones that I got from Amazon, however, these have gotten so soft with the more we've used them and the more we've washed them. They definitely look like a higher quality than I was expecting. So I do really, really love these. And right now I have this like khaki color saved in my cart right now that I'm thinking about, but we have like a really dark gray, almost leans a little bit more purple couch. So I'm not sure about the khaki, but that could be pretty on our bed. Next on H&M Home is this fluted glass vase. You know how I feel about fluted. You know how I feel about vases. I feel like we should have a collection. You never know what you need for a certain space. Sometimes you might want glass. Sometimes you might want ceramic. Sometimes you have the, your favorite one in use in another room and you need another one. So I love having a collection of vases. I like for them to have all different types of looks to them. I like to rotate through depending on my mood. This one's so pretty. It's very similar to the one that I got from McGee & Co. Gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It comes in a black hobnail, I think as well, but I really love the clear glass fluted, of course. I did find a couple throw blankets from them. There's this wool blend throw. They also had this really, hold on, let me find it. It's this like chunky, oh, it's so, it's like a chunky patterned throw. So beautiful, it has like a floral print to it. It has brown and taupe mixed in. So good, this plaid, really beautiful as well. It's like a, I think it's wool. Yeah, wool blend, plaid throw. Really great options on H&M for some throws if you're looking for some. Oh, and then, okay, I found this pattern cushion cover that is very similar to the very popular like tapestry throw pillow look that's been going around. This is such a good price. It is so beautiful. I think mixed with rattan, this could be such a vibe. This gives me very like, I don't even know how to describe this. I definitely have seen this kind of look in movies that are trying to kind of go back in time. I don't know what kind of vibe it is. You might know. So let me know if you do down in the comments, but mixing that rattan with like a palm tree kind of vibe with this pillow and let me know what that vibe, I don't know if it's Havana. It might be like a Havana vibe. Anyway, I love it. I thought these pillows definitely gave that look for less and I thought could be such a vibe if you had the, the space for it. I also really love these 
tapered candlestick holders, a little bit of a modern twist. I really liked those. And then I found this mirror. I did not look at the measurements. So I know it comes in a larger size. This isn't a smaller size, but I just like the shape of it. I'm kind of into mirrors that have a little bit more going on with them when it comes to the shape. I know it comes in black and it comes in gold. I just, I really, I thought, it was beautiful and I think it could be used for a bathroom, in, in a bedroom, uh, as a mirror, you know, right before you head out the door, that sort of thing. So, so pretty. I also really like this storage basket. It kind of reminds me of a top hat, but it just was a little bit of a different look. I find myself being attracted to things that maybe feel a little bit more unexpected and a little bit different. I've been really trying to push myself a little bit more outside of my comfort zone and trying to find just more unique pieces. And I felt like this is a little more unpredictable. It feels like less safe, if you will. This jute doormat, just very different than what I've seen. I like that it has like the natural jute mixed with the white jute kind of braided in. I just thought it was different and really cute. Now, I don't know how well the white jute would hold up, but maybe if you put it, you know, at a door that doesn't get used as much, I just thought that that was really, really cool. Also super into this striped tea towel. I love stripes, especially when it comes in to kitchen items. I just really feel like it gives a timeless look and almost like that French countryside working kitchen vibe to me. And there's something very familiar about it that I cannot relate to at all, but like somewhere inside of me feels like so, like it feels nostalgic in a way. I, I can't quite describe it, but I love adding linens into my kitchen, especially striped ones. I just feel like it makes it feel so warm and inviting and cozy and just comfortable. I love them. I also found a striped linen uh, apron, which I am definitely, I need to get a striped linen apron. I don't know why I haven't. I, I have like waist ones. I need the whole thing. It, the, the, it, it, you need the whole. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, then I have to go change my shirt. You know, it gets a little messy. For Easter items, I found a couple items on H&M Home that I thought were great options for Easter decor if you're into that. They have this ceramic Easter bunny, which I thought was very cute, like a little, just kind of more contemporary, not too much going on. I also found these ornaments. So if you do like an Easter tree, very cute of these little cute little ceramic bunnies. And then I found these six pack um, eggs in this. What is, what's this material? I don't know what this is, paper, <laughs> paper eggs. Thought that was really cute, but then also these clear glass eggs. I showed these from the white company, which I thought were really beautiful as well. This is the kind of Easter decor that I can do. Very, very subtle very cute, not too like loud and obnoxious for my home personally. Also this mirror tray I thought could be really cute if you wanted to do like a tiny little mini bar in say a guest bedroom, in your living room, really anywhere. If you just wanted to put together a little mini bar, mocktail bar, uh, whatever. You could do like a little coffee bar in a guest bedroom if you had like that whole coffee vibe going on for your guests. Very cute. Then I have a couple random items. I guess they're all kind of random, but I found these marble coasters. I love coasters. I'm always looking for them. I really specifically liked the uh, little silver holder that these came in. I thought that that was really, really beautiful. I found this folding laundry hamper. I thought this would have been perfect for that pantry makeover I did because they had their laundry room in their pantry. It was like kind of all like a utility room. Those were, these are gorgeous. I really, really like those. And then I have this like random glass teapot, which I thought was really beautiful. I had one gifted to me from World Market, but mine ended up breaking. But I really like this one. I like that the piece in the middle is metal. I thought that that was really cool to like add in another material. Mine was all glass. This one's really, really cute. These two piece straw basket set. This is like a very light straw. I thought that this was just unique and a little bit different than kind of the more honey tone that I typically go for. Now back to the honey, honey tone basket. I found this one that has where you could see through in there again. So 
again within a pantry if you had these baskets on your top shelf being able to slightly see what's inside of them i think is super helpful but also keeps things organized and tidy and beautiful but having that little bit to be able to peek through i think is super important i also have this clear glass mini vase i said it before i'll say it again you need vases they are just really helpful to have and you need a little bit of a collection i think the different sizes and different materials is major when it comes to decor also this little round glass box that is fluted I thought this was beautiful for a bedside table to corral your jewelry maybe if it's a guest bedroom you could put a couple chocolates in here for your guests it's so cute put it on a stack of books you don't need much going on with it and then this cute little glass box perfect oh I have this watering globe I have this outside I love it it's like this little fluted watering globe i want to get another one i should get a couple of them actually for plants i love these i love that especially indoor plants you fill them up and it kind of like waters your plants for you love those couple more things from h m home these wooden salad servers i feel like these i didn't have salad servers for so long and then i would go i'd take a salad to a friend's house for dinner and then i would always ask them oh do you have you know something to serve or whatever so i started a little salad server collection and i love having multiple to choose from and these are just very timeless you need these you need them these little flower they're egg cups but they are in the shape of a flower which i love i also really love the plates, I think they're sold out. I shared them in a collage over on Instagram. I love these, they're so beautiful. They're kind of like that cabbage -y vibe, but almost sweeter because they're like a flower. But these little egg cups, I thought would be so cute for espresso cups instead of the egg. I don't eat eggs like that. If you do, use them for that. But if you don't, also could be used as espresso cups, so cute. And now the last thing from H&M Home is this wool rug. It's, oh, this is so good, it's so good. I don't know what the size is. It's very small, it looks like, but it looks like more of like an entryway size, 31 by 55, I don't know what that size is. Anyway, this is so beautiful. I love that it has like these big squares. It's in this light taupe color, it's a wool rug, so beautiful. I wish I had a spot for this because I really, really love this. I think it's so well made, at least the way it looks. It just looks so beautiful. I wish I had a spot for this. It's so pretty. And a trick with this, because it's a little bit longer, you could, like say you had a long hallway, you could double up so you don't have one straight runner. You could do two of these and kind of break it off. I think that that sometimes could be a cool look depending on the vibe. I love this rug. I think it's so good. Moving on to Zara Home. This one's probably gonna be a while. There's a lot of good stuff. I love Zara Home. I think that they, they do such a good job. Everything in this video will be linked down below. By the way, if you have ever or purchased through my links, Thank you so much. I do make a small kickback from you shopping through my links. It is so incredibly appreciated. It really does help me out. Same with liking the video, leaving comments. It really does help and makes it makes it so that I can make videos. So thank you so much. I know that people say that, but it really does help. Anyway, let's move on to Zara Home. There's so many good things. Oh, this one's gonna be, this is gonna be a while. So hopefully I can narrow this down to just some of my favorites. There's so many good things on Zara Home. I mean, they, like I said, they just nail it. The first thing I wanted to mention was this cotton boucle poof or little ottoman. I thought that this was beautiful. I think I had an ottoman in our living room before I made our coffee table. I like an ottoman sometimes, especially in like a closet or certain spaces. I feel like an ottoman is such a good piece to have. If it's like a living room or you watch TV a lot, it's a really nice cozy, you know, place to pop your feet up on, things like that. So I really like this one. I thought that it looked very nice, very elevated, just beautiful. And then also in the furniture section, I wanted to mention these rattan chairs. I thought that these were gorgeous. I think these for outside in particular would be stunning. I love rattan lately. I mentioned that in the last video, but I'm really liking it. I feel like it gives that your home a little bit of that vacation feel, which for me personally, I really do 
love that look. I think especially living in a warmer climate, I feel like it really does well with where I live, but it also just looks so beautiful and very like high end. I look at a lot of designers and they, they use like bamboos, rattans, all that kind of stuff. So having that natural element is so, so beautiful. Oh, I love these folding chairs. I think that these would be so pretty outside around like a fire pit or I don't know, just having these extra little folding chairs. I mentioned bamboo chairs in one of my previous videos. I love the look. I think it's beautiful, but also these little folding chairs with the fabric stunning so pretty and you can put them away which i think is really nice to preserve them you know out of the the weather and you know kind of keep things nice and tidy if you wanted to so pretty okay another little furniture piece is this elm wood bench now i mentioned me wanting a vintage little skinny bench for the the back of my couch they're quite pricey this one is a bit more affordable. It's not vintage, but it definitely gives that look. And my friend purchased a, I'll actually share that one with you in this video as well, but she shared a console table from Zara Home and seeing it in person, it's gorgeous. So they do a really, really good job at making the wood look old. So this little bench I thought was pretty. I like that it's a little wider. I like that it's new because you could probably sit on it. I'd be scared to sit on a vintage bench, but this one, I wouldn't be afraid to sit on it. You could also just do it, use it for decor with some books, that sort of thing. Even maybe put a little lamp on the back. Very, very cute. I like these linen swivel stools. Beautiful. I think that these, I don't know. I just really like them. They're stunning. They come in white. They come in black. I prefer the black, I think. So good. I mean, the white's not bad either. So pretty. In my bathroom, I shared this milking stool with you. I have a vintage milking stool. I like to use them for like all my projects. I just really love the way it looks. These little stools are so great to have, whether that's, you know, if you use it as a little end table or a little drink table in your bathroom, next to a bathtub. Really, you can use these in so many different places. I've seen them layered. They're just gorgeous. I love these. This one's a very good price if you don't want to splurge on the vintage. It looks really, really good too. I love this. I actually need to get this for a couple projects that I'm working on. I think that this is a affordable stool to give that look, but get it for a little bit less. Not much, but a little, I mean, savings is saving. This little bench is a little different than what I would normally go for, or this little stool. It's this pine stool. It's in the, this walnut tone. I like this. I think that this is really pretty. I imagine seeing maybe two of these side by side in front of a fireplace. Gorgeous. I think that these are beautiful. It also comes in a mini size too. So very cute. They have a lot of other stools, but those are the ones standing out to me. Oh, also this irregular textured bar stool. Gorgeous. I would maybe use this. They have a picture on here of it next to a smaller one. So it comes in two sizes, taller and a shorter. And the taller one has a stack of books. I like that idea for the end of a long skinny hallway. If you have like a wall at the end, putting a bench like this or a stool like this at the end with maybe a lamp or books or a candle or a plant. I love this sort of look. I, I think that this one looks like a really, really good one as well super into that. Another kind of milking stool lookalike is this Elm wood stool. This one, I feel like I could definitely, I have found vintage ones for the same price, but say you want to really use it and you don't want to be afraid of it. I don't know. Sometimes I get a little afraid of the vintage stools and like scared to sit on them in case they fall. This one being that it's new, I would trust it. Okay. Moving on. I think we're going to move on to some decorative items. So those were a couple furniture pieces that are catching my attention, but let's be honest, I love the decor. Zara rugs, so good. I mean, okay, they look so good. I've never purchased one, so I, I don't exactly know. If you've purchased one, let me know, but I do know there's one rug I wanna mention, and it is their sisal rug. Sisal, I've ordered a sisal rug for a client for their dining room. And to me, it's a more polished, tighter woven jute rug. It is gorgeous. I mean, for a dining room, I feel like it's such a good rug. It's very, very beautiful. Like I said, a little bit more put together, a little bit more polished and they do have one. It's in like this very neutral tone. It's such a very nice polished look, but you're still getting that organic vibe. I know that a lot of people have, have a, like, they don't love jute. If you want the look of jute, but you maybe don't like it being so relaxed, 
check out a sisal rug, you might like them. For lamps, there's a couple lamps that I really liked. I mentioned in a video that I want to add some sort of either sconce to our bedside table or something to be able to have like a reading light along with our lamps. I found this one on, on Zara Home. Now it comes in a desk lamp and it also comes in a floor lamp, but it is so sleek. It is so beautiful. I love this light fixture. It is stunning. The only thing I can't decide on is if I should go with the table lamp version or the floor. I'm kind of thinking the floor because I can layer it with the, the table or the bedside tables. I love this. I think it is so sleek and beautiful and honestly a really good price for a light fixture, especially I've been looking at light fixtures and let me tell you light fixtures can get expensive <laughs> next light fixture from Zara home that really caught my attention is this marble table lamp it's in this black marble base stunning with this linen lampshade this is gorgeous and I will say Zara has they whoever is doing their design and taking their photos really makes you want to buy the items I mean they just look absolutely stunning in their photos. But this lamp in particular, I think would be a very, very timeless lamp. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Also, they have a ceramic lamp right now. And you know I have to mention this because I love that look. I just love how casual and inviting and just kind of like, like it's, it's put together, but like not taken too seriously. I just, I love this lamp. Gorgeous. I think it definitely gives that, I don't know, ceramic kind of pottery kind of vibe and I just, I thought it was beautiful. I also really love these little sconces here. These were another sconce I was thinking about for potentially doing for our bedside on the wall, but having to do like a puck light in them because we don't have hard wire right there. But I think that these are beautiful with the black and the linen gorgeous. Okay. This little oil lamp I thought is just so cute. It's a portable oil lamp. So I'm, I'm assuming it's battery operated. I love this. I think that this is so cool. You can put this in your kitchen, in a bathroom, being that it's portable. I just feel like this gives obviously such an old world vibe with that oil lamp kind of look to it. Oh, I love this so much on a bookshelf, on a window. Okay. Moving on to blankets. Zara home has some of the best throw blankets. I mean, absolutely th such good throw blankets. The one on the back of my chair here, this is one of Zara's jacquard blankets that I love so much. This is one of my favorite throw blanket purchases I've ever made. I use it as a tablecloth for Valentine's Day. I just, I love this. And they do such a wonderful job at their blankets. I mean, they, I, that I think is their specialty. First is this check throw blanket. If you had a space that you wanted to have like more of that like grandpa chic vibe, this is the throw blanket you wanna add. This is so beautiful to me. I absolutely adore this. I think it looks so handsome. I think it just looks so familiar, you know, like it just really has that like warm vibe to it. I love this blanket. I think it's so beautiful. And you know what texture I don't like? I don't like chenille. I know unpopular opinion. I think as soon as it like gets caught and like it starts unraveling, I just, I don't prefer it. It's just not my favorite. That, if you love it, that's fine. I just don't, don't prefer it, but I do love a wool blend. I absolutely love a wool blend. I think it looks so luxe and elegant and beautiful. <laughs> I love a wool blend. Before we move on to the wool blend, they have quite a few jacquard type of blankets. So they have this one here that is so beautiful. It's like this gray tone with like a little bit of that white fringe that I think is stunning. Dunning. I love that one. Okay, if you wanted to splurge, this cashmere knit throw is stunning. Stunning, so beautiful, very elevated. I mean, it is elevated, <laughs> but it is beautiful. So simple, but you could just tell by the quality that it's just super, super nice. Okay, so this wool and cashmere throw, or wool and cashmere blend throw is 
beautiful. It has like this chocolate brown on one side, this ivory on the other with these, you know, <laughs> the, the little tassels. They're not tassels, they're just like the little strips at the end. I'm not saying that right. I don't know what they are called, but I really, really love that one. I have been eyeing that one actually for a little while. I've noticed it on their site. I also really love this cotton multi-purpose throw. These are so nice for outdoor or summer day. I don't know about you, but I cannot sit on a couch just exposed. I need a blanket to throw over top of me, especially if I'm lounging, reading a book, watching a show, scrolling on my phone. I need something to cover up. I just feel like it's such a weird thing, but I feel like I'm just so exposed especially if I'm laying down. So on a hot summer day, I love like a linen throw or a very lightweight cotton throw like this one. It's such a, just, I don't know, like it's very comforting and cozy to warm up, but you're not like getting too hot, if that makes sense. This is a good one. I really, really love how casual and inviting it looks. On the opposite end of that is this very like thick looking blanket. But again, with that plaid, it just looks so Ralph Lauren to me. Very, very high end, very elevated. I just really love that look as well. There's a lot of really great like waffle texture blankets in here. I mean, they just really, like I said, they know how to do a throw blanket and they have a lot of different options, a lot of different looks. I love, I love, I really love this wool blanket here that has um, some sort of like print, like a tonal print in it, which I really love this look. I think that this is so elegant in such an understated way. I really love things like this, especially also in like table linens. Oh, one of my favorite looks ever is kind of that like understated print. This is a really good way to do elevated, but like not loud. I, I really wish that sometimes I could like get my, what I'm trying to think out into words, but I struggle with that so much because I don't quite know how to describe what I'm saying. This jacquard, floral jacquard blanket is very similar to the one I have on my chair here. This one is in like this very sage green or very light sage green, but they did just come out with this like more ivory tone one. It's not exactly the same, but it, it is similar. So if you have loved this blanket, you might love this one in that ivory tone. So pretty. Oh, it's so good. Too good. Too good. Zara, to me, I feel like makes me feel like creating that very designer look for an affordable price possible. Like there's so many super luxurious designers that are doing celebrity homes that feel a little bit out of reach. I personally think Zara Home really captures a lot of that in just one store. I feel like a lot of the times that's my whole purpose on this channel is to really kind of create a collected home that really makes it feel like you and elevated and beautiful. Like we can achieve that look without you know, I mean some of these, if you look at some of those sites, it's like there ain't no way, <laughs> like it's so expensive. So to me, that's one of my favorite things about Zara is they really capture that look at an affordable price. They really, really do a good job at that. Okay, so moving on to throw pillows here, tons. There are tons, they got linen on here, they've got print, they have this wool blend cushion cover, gorgeous, it has a little bit of that like fuzzier finish. I do love that. I feel like going into the springtime though, I want something a little bit more, I think I wanna go a little more polished polished for the spring and summer. This is the, the wool cushion cover that I want for my home. I kind of want a couple of them. I kind of want to keep it like very clean and polished. So I'm thinking about these ones. I really, really love the way that these look. These look very sophisticated to me and I'm really, really into them. So I kind of want to go for that. They do have this gingham check throw pillow, which is beautiful. If you're into the gingham or the pattern play, this is a very, very nice one. This one is in this beautiful green color, but it also comes in an orange if you're into that. <gasps> This green, oh, this is pretty. This is really beautiful. Hold on, I might like this one more than the H&M Home. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, you'll see it on screen. That is beautiful. Wow. This little glass mini vase, it's very dramatic. You will see by the pictures on the screen. Very, very dramatic, but it's gorgeous. I love that this has just such a loud 
voice, I guess you could say with, for lack of a better word. Very cool, I love that. Okay, baskets. H, or, uh, excuse me, Zara Home has wonderful baskets as well. And I did take a peek earlier today to see what they have. First being this like very chunky rattan basket. I love the way a chunky rattan looks. I remember taking you to Zara Home and talking about their rattan little baskets. This gives that look, I don't know, something about a chunky rattan is very um, unexpected. I feel like it's not so overdone. I, it's just a cool vibe. I really like this one. I also also really love this uh, rattan basket, like tray. These I thought looked extremely high end to me. I wouldn't say they're mo the most affordable, but these are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I also really love these large seagrass baskets with handles. These would be really pretty for to put your throw blankets in. You could also use these as a laundry basket or in a laundry room. I thought that those were so beautiful. I did notice they had a lot of really great baskets. This one's a little bit more predictable, but this rectangular woven basket I think is something that's really nice to have to corral things. This would be a really good bookshelf basket too to put like books in and different things that you might wanna tuck away, cords, things like that. I think that that is a really good basket. Oh, I did like this woven basket. It has like a little bit of a raised side to it, which I thought was just a little bit of a different take. It's just those tiny little details that make such a difference in home decor. Something that is just a regular basket, but they went that extra little step to make it a little bit different. I also really love this round woven basket. They have it pictured here with some throw blankets and a magazine. It looks like a rather large woven basket. I love this. I think too that this would be a really good harvest basket as well. Or if you had a big family, a good fruit basket. Just saying, that'd be really pretty. These seagrass baskets with the green stripe. I love these. I think these are I just love those, beautiful. I also really love these jute baskets with handles, but they're white, which I feel like you don't see these a whole ton. I thought that these were gorgeous. They have it pictured next to a bed, like a darker uh, linen throw or linen coverlet on the bed. And I just really love that juxtaposition between, or contrast, I guess I should say, between the basket and the dark blanket. So good. Which a lot of the times you see opposite, you'll see like a light blanket or like a white coverlet and then like a honey or dark basket or chest or something at the end, but seeing the opposite is really, really different and cool. Oh, these storage baskets, I bought a set of three from Amazon. I love these. I have a bunch of paperwork stored in ours up in our closet. Love these. I thought these striped round baskets, they come in this um, like honey color with a black stripe and then they also come in the honey color with a white stripe. I thought these looked very elevated. These look like just really, really nice to me. Very, like something you would see at a designer boutique. I just, I really, I loved those. They have this small little woven basket with handles that they have displayed with eggs in it. I love having these tiny little baskets for decor, for displaying your fruits and vegetables, or even creating a little vignette. If you're having guests over, going that extra mile and kind of placing things really beautifully, I think really does kind of, you know, like maybe we don't think people notice, but they notice, they really do notice. I also really love this fruit basket here. It seems a little bit bigger than the egg basket and it just has a beautiful shape to it. And I feel like you could not only have this maybe on your island or in your kitchen with your fruits and vegetables on it, but you could also put this outside, like if you had an outdoor area that had maybe a coffee table, fill this up. Like we have citrus that grows here, whatever might grow in locally to you. You could fill this up, go out and clip things. It could even be flowers, whatever. I love this look. And then I also really liked this square basket for disposable napkins. I really like this floral bread basket. This is Gorgeous. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Also this rattan basket. This would be really great for a bread basket. Put a linen in there, put a loaf of bread, kind of cover it up, chop up your bread, put it in there. Gorgeous. I love that. I also love these wooden scoops. I know I've shared these in a previous video, but I still love them. I think that they are so pretty. This double salt shaker is really cool as well. So it has like this ceramic base with these wood lids and this wooden spoon that goes across. This would be really pretty just to have out on your counter next to your range. I think to be able to like open it, use this salt, you might have Himalayan on one, kosher on the other, who knows, but it's 
so cute and then these salt shaker ceramic salt shaker with a wooden with a wood lid this is gorgeous very old world there's a uh, vintage I, I've seen these vintage where they go like this you hang them on your wall oh, so pretty and then they have this apothecary like salt holder which you know is my style I also really love this olive oil glass olive oil holder this is gorgeous love it with the fluted mm. So good. Okay, I do wanna get this steel infuser. So you could use this for your loose leaf tea if you're making like a cup of tea. But also, the I've seen a lot of sourdough bread makers use these to um, sift the, uh, the, what am I trying to say? The flour on your dough, on your bread, after you like make all your cuts and whatnot. So I kind of want that for my sourdough making. I'm still, it's still a journey for me, but I do want that as well. You guys are such good stuff on here. Oh my gosh, this wooden rolling pin. Oh, I did want to talk about this mocajete. This is gorgeous. I love the little feet. You know me, I love a mocajete. I love adding them to our kitchen. Again, to me, it just gives that feeling of like comfort, nostalgia. Even though I, when I grew up, I was never in a kitchen with a mocajete, it just like still gives me a nostalgic feeling. I really, really love it. They also have really great cutting boards from the looks of it. This rectangular ash wood cutting board is looks beautiful. It looks really, really good. I love that one. It also comes in round. And then they have a few others, but those are my favorite. Oh, these glass funnels. These are gorgeous. Again, it's just Sometimes it's really just kind of fine tuning that look in your home. Like I have a steel one of these in our kitchen and it's fine, but it's not glass. You know what I mean? Like the glass is just stunning. Also this linen tea towel, gorgeous. I think this one has like a blue stripe. So good. This one too with the, it's like a, a tan and a brown stripe on the edge. Gorgeous. Like something so simple as a linen towel makes me this happy. It's just... I love home decor. It's just so fun. These tea towels are gorgeous. I guess I'm into like the very dainty, delicate floral prints. <sighs> so good. I love, I love those. Let's go to dining because I know I did kind of peek a little bit and see some amazing table linens. They have great table, like linen tablecloths, which I think every kitchen needs a beautiful linen tablecloth because I feel like linen is the texture that can dress up and dress out. It could go with anything. And I just think every kitchen needs it. It really, they, they just do. I noticed on Zara Home that they had a lot of that understated print that I, or tonal print I was telling you about, which I was trying to capture. That's why I used this throw blanket for our Valentine's Day. To me, I love something that maybe doesn't look like it has a lot of detail. And then you get up close and you're like, oh my gosh, this is like, has flowers and it just like, I don't know. There's something about it that makes me so happy. I just love that like understated print. I think it's so beautiful, but this one's not understated, but oh my gosh, I want this. I want to order this right now. This is so beautiful. It is a very fine floral red, which is interesting for me because typically I don't go for that. However, this table linen is breathtaking. This is so beautiful. I love this. And I even like it in the red. I think it's really beautiful. I think I need to order that and I think I need to do a table setting on the channel with that because I love it. I think that is absolutely stunning. Oh, gingham. They have gingham. They got green, they got black, they got stripes. These are the ones I'm talking about. Now these I think are so beautiful, especially if you have a super neutral home. Something about having that understated table linen just really speaks for itself. It just elevates the room or the, the tablescape in a way like, oh, it's so good. This floral jacquard table linen. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I don't know what it is about it. That makes me so happy, but genuinely it is like one of the most elevated looks I have seen. I just think it dresses up a space so beautifully. And I really love it in this like gray taupe color. Yeah. Brown taupe. <sighs> 
with the smoke, those smoke glasses I shared from CB2. Oh yes, that would be so pretty. They have some that have a little bit of a thicker um, print to them, which is also really beautiful. So many good ones, absolutely stunning. Stunning. I think that's all I have to say about the table linens. I want to go to glassware because I know that I have adored glassware from Zara in the past. So they have a lot of very classic vibes going on right now, which I love. I think for me, taking a minute to think about my purchases and simmer on my purchases, as my friend would say, we talk about that all the time, like simmer on it and think about it for a minute, I think has really helped me make better decisions when it comes to my decor and and really being mindful and intentional and not making as many decor mistakes, if you will, but loving my items so much more because I'm, I'm simmering on them and I'm really thinking about them and dreaming about them and putting together a tablescape in my head before I buy the table linen or, you know, things like that or the rug, like really like taking a minute and, <laughs> and thinking about it and like closing my eyes and like picturing everything all together has really, really helped me. These stemmed glasses, these look very similar to the ones I shared from Pottery Barn. I also found them on Amazon, but these are a little bit more of a contemporary take on them. I like these. These are really cute. Oh, those are beautiful. Okay. A lot of modern, like very like clean line glassware is what I'm noticing and ribbed. I still really love these coffee tumblers. I just, I don't know. There's something, I feel like in this video, I've caught myself saying familiar and nostalgic. I think that's like what I'm after in this, in while I'm looking or like what a lot of this is bringing me because to me these really just look so simple where but there's something so beautiful about it i love this hammered style glassware especially for summer and outdoor dining to me this just feels like it belongs outside i don't know why it just feels like i want to go outside and make a like a beautiful dinner and do a little table setting with like some rattan mix in oh yep love those Beautiful. Ooh, what is this? This is gorgeous. Okay, this little tumbler with like the extra detail. So it has like this like kind of wavy look or ribbed look with a ring with like a little medallion type. Ooh, I like these. These are pretty. This little flower bowl. <gasps> That's gorgeous. A little like parfait and that would be so Beautiful. Ooh, I really like these um, etched, this etched glassware. I, have, I haven't seen it in the clear. I've always seen it with the green glass. This is in the clear glass. That's stunning. I really like that. I haven't bought the, the green glass yet. I think I would buy the clear over the green. I like that. Ooh, they have a fancy collection. Let's see what they have in here. Okay, pretty. Some floor, ooh, floral. Ooh, actually these are really pretty. This French wine glass with this floral print. That's really pretty. You know, be pretty where to put that is on like a bedside table in a guest bedroom, like dress up their glassware that you put in there. That'd be really, really pretty. Comes in a couple different, oh, they have one with dragonflies. That's pretty. That's so sweet. Okay, that's all the glassware. Ooh, this tray is pretty. It looks like a linen tray, a linen hold, uh, excuse me, a napkin holder tray. But this is really, really pretty. And these coasters with the brass edging, but glass center, those are gorgeous. I've mentioned this brass trivet. I actually forgot about that. I want that. I think that's really cool. Okay, moving on to flatware. There is some great flatware on H&M Home. I've shared these wood handle flatware set with you before, but I think going into the spring summer, I think that these are gorgeous. I also really love a bamboo handle for spring summertime, but these are stunning. I really, really do like these. And then they have these, okay, they have these decorative engraved cutlery set. It comes in and silver and it comes in gold. I think I prefer the silver in these, but I think these are kind of cool. I really love the fine florally kind of print on these. I think that they look actually they have them in like these little forks for appetizers or like little brunch forks. That's a really cool way to play with something like this. Elegant, 
very elegant. I really do like these. And they also have them in some like dessert spoons. I just think those are fun. And just like if you were put to, putting together a elegant dinner or like a dinner party for some friends, what a fun way to add in some, I don't know, just like really pretty elegant flatware just really elevates the experience. I liked those. I actually wanna see if they still have my metal trays still available because I wanna get my one for our little coffee bar. It's a black metal tray and I have the tiny one. I have shared it in multiple different videos, but most recently is my bathroom makeover. Oh, these little black metal boxes are beautiful as well. I think that this would be really pretty to put on an entryway table to put like sunglasses in. It's kind of more of a low profile though. So I would have to see if that would work for a pair of sunglasses, but on a coffee table, I think these are very sleek. Those are really, really cool. All right. I found the black metal tray and and all sizes are available right now. Mine is in the smallest size, but honestly, I wanna get the medium size, I wanna get the large size. These are so great, they, they, they're so great. I love my small one, my friend has the large one, and they just look really, really nice in person. I really, really love those. These gold round metal boxes, I think look really, Nice. It's hard to tell sometimes on just with pictures online, but they do a really good job at capturing an image inside a real space or at least decorate decorated space. These look gorgeous. I really like these. I also really love this set of round candles. They look like little garlics on like this round piece, but I love that they're these tiny little candles. I don't know, something about these just, I think is so cute. You could also just display it like that. I've mentioned these decorative spiral candles so many times. I really do love these as well. I just need to buy these. I don't, I haven't placed an order on Zara Home in so long and I really, really need to. <gasps> Ooh, these candlesticks. They're like in this very dainty black. These look gorgeous. Okay, I like these. These are beautiful. I really like those. That would be so pretty on a tablescape. I know that I am missing so much from Zara Home. There's so many good things. I mean, absolutely stunning stunning decor on Zara Home. It's one of my favorites. I go there all the time for inspiration. I don't order from them nearly as much as I want to, but I will have everything linked down below and I highly recommend going and checking out their website. They have so many good things. If you love my style, you're gonna love Zara Home. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this H&M and Zara Home shop with me. I am so happy at the response that I've been getting from these shop with me videos. It's really allowing me to share more with you, to shop more with you, to help refine my style, shop for you guys. I just, I'm really, really, really loving doing these. So I'm glad that you are loving them as well. Don't worry. I I will absolutely continue to do more hauls and more makeovers and things like that, but those are a little bit harder to do so regularly. But being able to do these shop with me's, I can really do a lot more videos with you guys. So I'm glad that you're liking them. Let me know down in the comments which item from today's video was your favorite, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together